there are a few feelings better than fresh towels right out of the dryer. <laughs> I have these lavender scented, um, I guess, is it lavender? Or is it just purple and I think it's lavender? Oh yeah, okay, duh. In big letters on the front, obviously, okay. Anyway, these really awesome uh, dryer sheets I've been using. I got these from Whole Foods, but um, truly because they didn't have any other options. And I've been really into it. I love lavender scent. These towels are my new towels from Brooklinen, which I'm gonna show you guys. Guys, this green <laughs> bathrobe is freaking spectacular. Like, look at it, I'm really into it. Yeah, I just had a really lovely shower experience, if you guys were wondering. Um, I hadn't washed my hair in like three days, which is kind of a long time for me, but I've gotten comfortable with the idea that my hair doesn't need to look amazing every day. I feel like there's this pressure sometimes to have your hair looking great every day and like some days you're just gonna have it up in a messy bun and that totally should be normalized, you know? Like you don't always have to have like camera ready hair. And there are some days that I just like don't wanna be on camera, you know? So um, recently I've been embracing the every two to three days washing my hair. So as you can see, I upgraded my towel situation. I need to like organize this better. Right now it's just like there and you make it look prettier, but this is kind of an ode to the days where I would travel a lot and stay in a lot of hotels because I always loved the towels and wanted to like take them home with me. Brooklinen has great stuff. I recommend them to all of my friends always. You guys know my whole bed is Brooklinen. You guys know how much I love them. If you're in the market, to upgrade your towels, this is the time to do it. They're having a huge sale. This is also from Brooklinen, if it wasn't obvious. So I will link this as well. Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors. I've been using this under eye balm. It's called Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Balm Eye Balm from Tula. And you just put it under your eyes. It just adds a little dose of moisture to your under eye. I feel like I always have like the driest under eyes and like, high cheekbone area. And then one more thing that I use post shower is this Good Habit Rescue Me Glow Potion Oil Serum. I've been embracing the serum life recently and it's actually kind of cool. So the top has a little button on it and you push the button in and the dropper fills up. I try to be delicate with this, but it just really goes everywhere. <laughs> and I pat it into my skin, gently. It just went in my mouth. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just doing my best over here. My biggest skin concern as of late has been lack of moisture because I've been sleeping with a fan and then obviously the winter is about to come and the heat's gonna dry out my skin. So I like just putting a ton of moisture in. I've had such a sweet tooth lately. I have never tried these before, but they were sent to me in the mail. Hmm, it kind of tastes like peachy to me. There's zero peach in this, but it tastes a little bit like peach green tea lemonade from Starbucks, but not. <laughs> anyway, I've just been sitting over here in my spot, ate a bit of lunch, ate some chicken, some fruit, stuff like that. And now I'm just sitting here doing some work. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am feeling tired today, like very tired. I've been having like a weird night's sleep the past few nights and I'm not sure what's going on. But it's definitely affecting my work ethic. So gotta make sure I somehow get in bed early tonight even though I have a date. I feel this spot is becoming my post-date reflection spot <laughs> where I tell you guys <laughs> about the date after I, I go on it. So second date, we went mini golfing. I got a hole in one, very exciting. Um, we didn't keep count or score, but I'm pretty sure I won. He didn't go easy on me, which I appreciate. And I didn't go easy on him, which he appreciated, I'm sure, because I'm actually like a low key pretty good at mini golf, so. Anyway, it was a really fun date. Um, we went to the Piers, if you guys are in the city, um, Piers over Pier 25 on the West Side Highway area. Um, it's a really beautiful view as well. Like we walked around after the game. The game? Is that what you call it? The, the, the game, right? Is golf called a game? My mind is being blown right now. Like I don't know what 
a match? No, that's tennis. Anyway, so we, we played golf, mini golf, and then went for a little walk around. It was really nice, like really great date spot. Really nice guy, very smart. And I have to say, okay, so I was just doing my dishes and thinking, like replaying things, thinking about it back. And I realized this is actually the very first date I've ever been on that alcohol was not involved. And I was thinking this to myself and I'm like, I can't tell if that is like the most depressing thing I've ever heard or just like a real thing because it is pretty real that when you go on a date, you get drinks, like to soften the experience, you know, make it less uncomfortable, I guess. But this was a fully sober date and like we drink water because <laughs> after putt-putt, we just, do you call it putt-putt or mini golf, by the way? Anyway, we just walked around and like he grabbed me, he got me a water, which is very nice because um, it was really hot. And we just sat and talked for a while and it was really nice, like nice just talking to someone without feeling the need to drink, you know? I do this because I just want to normalize dating. I think we get so stressed out about it because not many people are super honest about dating and it's all about getting yourself there. I think it's very similar to like going to the gym. It's like you just have to get yourself there and then you kind of like your instincts take over if that makes sense. I think the most daunting, scary part of going on dates is the buildup, is the sitting in the Uber on the way there moment of like, oh my God, is it too late to pretend like I have food poisoning? I think that dating teaches you more about yourself than any other learning experience in your 20s. Like I think that dating has taught me so much about myself because the way that you talk about yourself, the way that you describe what you do, which things you hype up and which things you don't mention, like that teaches you a lot about your priorities. Like I remember when I was in my corporate job still and I'd go on dates, I would talk about like the certain parts of my job that I really loved and those parts of my job that I really loved made me realize that I should leave said job and do those things that I love every day for myself and that's what I do now. So, you know, it's all a learning experience, all of it. I was just sitting here. Hey guys, welcome back to Thick and Thick. Recording my podcast, as you could hear. Um, sending it to my editor. Thinking to myself how I crack myself up sometimes because I have a podcast editor, guys. Like, someone that edits my podcast for me. And yet, I have the audacity to edit the podcast myself because I can't trust anybody and send her the edited version of the podcast. Like, so she could just like listen to it and make sure it sounds good. But like I edit my own podcast and send it to her. She is literally my editor and I edit it before sending it to her. Welcome to a front row seat to my crazy because I am just so particular about how things are done. That's the reason why I'm so bad. Like I, I try to hire an assistant and then I freak out and panic because I, I, have, I have trust issues, I think, when it comes to content. Like, I can't trust anybody. So I'd rather just work overtime doing it all myself because then I know it's gonna turn out how I want it to. You know what I mean though? Like, it's, it's I have an issue. I, I don't know what it is. This is bringing me back to high school when I was editor in chief of the newspaper. I was that girl that would get to school an hour early to make sure everything is perfect before the issue went out. The issue like that no one read, like no one really read our newspaper that we made, but I put my like blood, sweat and tears into that publication. It was called the Talon because for, we were the Falcons. So the Talon newspaper, you know, if I ever let a typo go to print, it absolutely crushed me. Like it killed me. My baby hairs over the years have really just, they just look different with every passing day. But anyway, so I'm packing right now really quick before I go to the gym. 
Um, I'm taking a train out of Penn Station at like 3. And I have calls like back to back to back after my workout this morning. So I just wanted to make sure that I will make the train. Bringing a lot of casual stuff, just like jeans, a couple of dresses. Um, I think we're going out on the boat tonight with my friends. My parents are going to take us out, so we're going to do that. So jeans are necessary. Um, this purse from Zara is so cute. It has this awesome strap on it. <laughs> oh my god, literally. Hitting the open road. Yeah. Hi guys, good morning. Let me back out and then we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll chat. I'm so puffy. I love the backup cam in this car. Yeah. When's the last time the internet has seen me driving? Probably... Like years ago. No, it's not hit, really cute drove. It's not hit my neighbor's mailbox. Um, Harrison's um, ready. I'm gonna start calling him that. <laughs> Who's Harrison? Adam. Oh, Adam. <laughs> oh, duh. We're picking up Adam because he doesn't drive. And we're getting Starbucks. And we're in Maryland. <laughs> Surprise! Colby, can you tell the, the, the team here what our day was like yesterday? Yes, it was a nightmare. I texted Katie because there was a lot of flooding in New York and heard that only one subway line was running in the entire city. So I And that one her. wasn't even running actually. I looked oh, it up really? and the R, Ooh, the, R oh, wasn't, no. the R wasn't even running, I heard. It's like it was also not running. There was like yeah. no subways running. And I was like, oh God, Don't worry. So I know. I was like, Don't worry, Cole. The the Amtrak is still running. It's like a much larger train. We're gonna be good. Because on the website it didn't say that they were cancelled. And then they call us. They had the audacity to call us an hour before. Yeah, I was literally to about to call my Uber. I was like, okay, perfect. Just hung up my meeting. Like, gonna head to Penn Station now. Yeah. And Katie was like, oh my god, the train, the train is, is canceled. canceled. And so then, luckily... We got the last rental yeah. car in Manhattan. And I swear. We're still in her. We're, we're still in the car. I'm keeping it until we have to return it. Yeah. It's like the coolest car. Yeah. Got the car. Bonnie and Clyde whipping it. Down. Yeah, we listen to country music as <laughs> we, we head into the country. <laughs> we are south of the Mason Dixon, everyone, but Maryland is like not southern. Whatsoever. It is. Where even We're, is the Mason are, Dixon line? We are south of the Mason Dixon line right now, and I did not know that. But actually, some people in my town would probably say that they're southern, but we're in the south. It's really not southern. Right now we're going to Starbucks, obviously, but first we have to pick up Your Highness Adam Harrison. Yeah. We're waiting. For waiting for the queen after he asked if he we goes, got lost. Did you get lost? I'm like, Adam, we're at your house. Mm -hmm. You're just not coming outside. What are you gonna get from Starbucks, Colby? I will probably get I actually don't know. It depends if I have a free drink or not, because then I spice up my order. <laughs> and spice make, it up. I make it can really get, expensive when it's if you get any, free. a free order, you can oh look at him. He looks so rich dad today. I feel like we're going to school. I, we're, we're we're going to high we're school. We're picking him up on our way. Oh, oh, oh. he's locked out. Oh I don't. Hey kids. Hey. hey. Don't you feel like we're on our way to school with your backpack? <laughs> yeah. Wait, Katie, I definitely you definitely got lost. I didn't get you lost. Didn't. You came from this way. I, I went the long way. Yeah, I went the did. scenic route to show Colby the sights. Oh, gotcha. She followed the GPS. I, what's actually. Going on up there? <laughs> I actually tracked you, and that's how I got here. Oh, this is like kind of a compact. Oh. Isn't it sick, though? Oh, it's not bad. Ride. Um, um, I'm going to need you to direct me out of here. Oh! Pull in this driveway. Pull in the driveway. Okay, we're done. I'm pulling in this driveway.